Moon lighting. Thirty-eight. Plan stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. So you tell her sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. Before the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault? Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. Hmm. <laughs> Doing this? We're doing this. Everyone's down on the floor! Get the fuck down! Not you, ladies. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. Get the manager. We all want everyone to get to go home and hug their kids tonight. Right? Go here. No kidding around, you saw a contact? No! I really have to go around. What are you doing? With me, down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. This make you feel big? Beating on a little guy. It's making me feel rich. And the little guy gets to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. Exactly. Hey, quit moving. You're making me nervous when I get How nervous. How many guards at the ball? Finger gets One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. Yep. Everything okay? Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? Keep moving. You won't get away with this. Your sort never do. You just worry about yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high school. You, you keep I'll your hands where I can you. see them and tell your guard to do the same. So pretty stupid to uh, have only one guy as lookout. Should be two. Remember, when we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen to me very carefully. I need you to put down your. Ah, oh, shit! Him, boys. Shoot him! Get out! Ouch. Volkies on the table. No one else has to die. I don't have to die. There we go. Yeah, money. 
Don't know how much you're gonna be able to get grab though. Wake him on it. That is why I didn't... Oh, come on. How do you take a, that, like... There we go. Already lost him, so all cars for shooting called off abandoned. We're in the a Palermo Club. Sam's Club. Hey, it's empty right now. What he don't know. <laughs> exactly. That was easy as hell. It's still almost folly. We'll only have done it once my heart stops trying to beat outside my chest. See you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. He took it. 
Izzy ran off with it. He ran off with it, and I know it. The death of art. Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? I'm just feeling lucky is all. Got that right, champ. I've been thinking. Oh yeah? I'll call the papers. <laughs> I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Yep. Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're not being honest. You're moving, even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Polly, you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. Better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. And what happened, I wonder? Can we see the daughter by any chance? Why would they block... Really? I thought the daughter was supposed to be much older, but I guess it must be a toddler. Why else would you have a gate there? Because of the, because of the daughter. Let's see what is up with Polly. This neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Yeah, you were ruckus last night. Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Again. Again. Uh-oh. Yep, he's so left. Or he got shot. Yeah. He shot in the head. Polly. Oh, yeah, they took the money. Fucking skull. Oh God, I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ! I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta uh, disappear. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. 
Polly's. No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, Tom. You know that. And for all we know, it could have been Sam that killed him. Rip Polly. Most definitely. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. Guarantee it was Sam. I killed him so badly. What's gonna happen? Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. I was right. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam. But I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. More than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. Yep. That was right. Oh. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri? Really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you'd have lived a lot longer if you'd have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. God damn.
Where'd you go, Sim? Business is business, Tom. I'm I know to you. I don't know from know that. No more of your friends have to die in Over here. Time. No one but you. Put him to sleep. Forget him. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. Love hearing ka <gasps> Thank you, that's all I wanted. A lucky shot, Tom. But the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys. Hey, 
Thank you. That's all I wanted. I'm like, I knew I had to be behind cover. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Yeah, I don't trust you. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri... He sent out a crow. And his family. Exactly. Christ. Probably died. You can't do it, can you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like baby girl for Sarah always telling you not to pull that trigger and you can't make up your mind it's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth <laughs> we sure had some laughs right remember that time me you and Polly we yep Surprised he didn't just shoot him in the head. Save the bullets. But that's what he did anyway, I see. Shot him twice, probably in the stomach, and then shot him in the head. Or not stomach, but torso. I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but. I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box and stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife. Four boys. <sighs> All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But 
this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gonna eat, right? Even dirty cats. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive ain't exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. <laughs> Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Good enough. You finally time. I'm guessing this is the end of the game. The epilogue, indeed. Oh, we finally get improper marriage. Oh damn! A long time ago. Oh, okay, that's our daughter. Life. Someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles' heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right, because everything I've done, both good and bad. I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. Hey. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over. The <laughs> Mafia Two scene. Mr. Angelo. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! <laughs> yep. That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family. Family is forever. Yep. Yep. And that's Mafia 2.